Hi guys, my name's Alex and welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. Hey folks, it's Barry here. Now I want to say first up a massive, just a huge uh, thank you uh, to all of you. Uh, the feedback that I got on that long form episode, that trial thing that I did, has been absolutely just like beyond incredible. It's just been so nice to see your nice messages. All of you guys, I mean, I think like 99% of you said that you loved it. Uh, there was a few questions which hopefully I'll answer in a bit, but I'm just so glad that you guys are sort of believing in this vision that I've got and I really believe we can make something special. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna carry on uploading one big episode when I can. I guess you could refer to that as the main course. And I'm gonna take out little snippets of it, uh, like the stinging out I was with my mum, like the how to make Welsh cakes, like the GoPro stir fry recipe. Do those as mini videos, like around about a week later. So you've got little snippets and they're still there if you prefer the short term stuff. And also it helps people discover the main show. And then I'll follow up with a video like this, responding to some of your comments that I've pulled out and hopefully we'll make it as interactive as we can. So the first thing I need to announce is the winner of the uh, Belgian uh, waffle maker. You might have seen it on the homemade Belgian waffle video that I was giving away the actual uh, waffle maker I used in the video, which is right down there, and loads of you entered. Uh, thank you so much for everyone that did. All you had to do was leave a comment, and uh, maybe I'll do other competitions. The budget doesn't quite stretch that far, so maybe I'll send a pen or something like that. And the winner, I decided to pick a guy called De Bros. He's only an 11-year-old chap, but he's wrote 15 pages on me for his school project, which is really nice and flattering, and loads of people liked it. They gave a thumbs up on the comment, and he's also getting my cookbook uh, for his birthday. So uh, there you go, I can't send you a cookbook as well, but I can sign this little slip. So give me your address, send me a message, you're getting a waffle maker and this, which you can stick a little sign thing in the front of your book. Lollipop Dudes asks, did I pour that stuff on my GoPro? And by stuff, I presume uh, we mean ingredients. Yes, this is my uh, little GoPro camera I've taken out of the case, so it's got a little bit of breathing space. Uh, but basically, yeah, I pour all the ingredients on it. This GoPro camera probably hates me. You know, when he bought it, it's thinking, yeah, I'm gonna go into water in the sea and stuff. But really, it just gets flour and stuff chucked all over it. And in fact, during the video, uh, my casing broke, so I had to use sellotape. I've ordered a new one on eBay, but I love you, man. I love using my GoPro. Right, so next up I had a message from Danielle Charlton saying, can I just say your mum is really pretty? And you're not the only person to say that. I've grown up with my friends having a crush on my mum and they probably still do now. But why don't we ring her? Why don't we ring my mum uh, right now and tell her that you think that, Danielle? Yeah. Hello. Hello, all right? Yeah, how are you? I'm good. Danielle Charlton wants to tell you that she thinks that you're really pretty. What do you think about that? Oh, uh, that's really sweet. Yeah? Did you say love you, Danielle, something like that? Uh, love you, Danielle. Okay, thanks, Mum. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Next up is a question from Alice Gower on Facebook, but a few of you have also been asking me this on Twitter, on YouTube. Can I add, like, a vlogging channel or some sort of element to that? Uh, I think there's a possibility to put this into the show if that's what you want to do. Maybe see, like, a behind-the-scenes thing. Uh, for example, Giant Food James, who I'm going to see in a bit. We're going kayaking in a bit. I might take my camera along. Let me know if you kind of want that element in there, and I'll chuck it in. I don't mind, but I don't want to get too busy. I want to focus on making the best food show I can. I've got to keep it food-related, but uh, if you want to see more of that, let me know. XSmiles85 says, I reckon the first food fact from Jack was false. Food fact number one, a strawberry isn't a berry, but a banana is a berry. Now I can tell you, the actual false one uh, was fact number three about the corn ears, you know, carrying them in their ears, they would fall out and they could only carry two at a time, so we kind of made that one up. Although the fourth one about hippo soup is probably open uh, for debate. Edward says the green screen looked a little bit wrong and that is a fair comment. I was super bright as some of you others pointed out as well so I could have lowered the contrast slightly as well but to compensate for it I had to make some adjustments and if you look at my eyes uh, they're actually purple uh, which you know is kind of crazy. Uh, I don't have purple eyes, I have blue eyes. Another point on the green screen came from Elaine Swissy. She said, can I use the kitchen as a background for the new segment, which you guys loved and I'll keep doing. Uh, but I really don't mind this whole green screen. We can put this up for debate. I don't mind like not using the green screen at all. To be honest, it would make my life a lot, 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 lot easier. But I just thought it'd be like quite cool to make it interactive. I could get you guys sending me like the backgrounds. I could give you the dimensions so you could put whatever you want behind me in the background. We don't have to do that. I can put it in my kitchen if you want. So uh, let me know. I really don't mind. I really loved this comment from M1T4, it's like a cooking Top Gear. And for me, I am kicking myself. Reading that makes me like not physically kick myself, but I'm annoyed with myself. I've had this idea for over a year, but people online I'm learning are quite resistant to change. And it's like, oh, you guys will hate it. So I'm glad you loved it. And when I was trying to explain it to other people, uh, you know, like, like James or like Mrs. Barry or other friends, I was like, think of Top Gear, the show, like how it's about cars, but it's sort of fun around that. Now make that about food, but make it fun too. So still cooking around 
recipes for the first time so everyone can have a go, but we'll make it interactive and do giant stuff and mini stuff, crazy stuff from around the world. As long as it's about food, we're laughing and learning. I think we can make something so special here, guys. And reading that, I was like, yes, we believe in it. Tamaris Diorizio, I've probably pronounced that wrong, says, am I still doing giant foods, etc., or will they be inside the show or split off into little bits? Well, hopefully I've already answered that, but the answer is it'll be both. So first of all, there'll be that main episode and within it, one week it might be a giant food. I think I'm doing one next week with James. Then it might be tasting the foreign treats, you know, mini foods, anything like that. But then I'll also, a couple of days later, I'll take that little snippet out and upload it as a separate video. So it'll still be there, but if you want to see it first, it'll be on the main episode along with everything else. Make sense? Yeah. This idea from Sana Nuss is amazing. Basically, it's the concept of doing like a food stream with you guys. So what I'll do is tell you a recipe that I'm planning on cooking coming up in the next couple of days. So it gives you a couple of days to make it too, and then we can all cook along together. And that is exactly what we're gonna do in a minute. There was also an idea of giving you a challenge, setting 10 ingredients, seeing what you cook with it, seeing what I cook with it, and we share and talk about it. But let's start off with a nice, simple recipe. Okay, so we're gonna try out Sana's cook along idea. We're gonna start off with a really simple bacon, basil, and spaghetti recipe that I want you to cook too. I'm gonna to cook it, and it will be in the show in the next three or four days when I upload it. The recipe, the ingredients, the steps, are all down below in the description box down here, and also on my website, so go check it out. And what I want you to do, once you've done it, I want you to take a selfie of you, a really crazy selfie with you and the dish going, Ugh, and hashtag, MVK selfie and the most favorite ones I see I'll put them in the next video and my most favorite one can actually have a copy of my book Which I will sign for you so get involved in it guys Let's have some fun with it and basically see if it works and maybe start some whole cook along stuff Maybe we'll do it live as well sometimes. Yeah I love to see your pictures of what you've been cooking and also you holding your dishes and crazy faces like that. So here is a little gallery that I've been sent on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook in the last few days. Tiny Mama 13 sent me this, which is basically just dark chocolate and whipping cream. Pretty cool. So down for five SOS made the homemade Jaffa cakes. She said they're a little sloppy because they run out of time, but to be honest, I would definitely eat those. Eddie McField sent me a picture of this cake, but I don't really know what it is. I can see biscuits in it, but if you want to let me know, Eddie, down below, that would be ace. Alex, who actually introduced this video, sent me these amazing lemon lemon cupcakes, which look amazing. I want to stick my feet in them. Dean T over on Facebook sent me his picture of my two ingredient Nutella cake. That is so good. You must try it. And that is looking good, Dean. Darren Boss sent me a picture of this cake that he made. Could be a fudge cake. I don't know what's in it either. But to be honest, if it's chocolate coated, I'm going to eat it. Marco Muller sent me this pastel de carne con coedo. I don't know what that is. It looks amazing, but I think you can get cream for that at the hospital. Meg Wayne showed me her version of my mozzarella sticks, which she switched up and turned into mozzarella balls using baby bow. Genius. Emma May Palmer pimped up my jelly rainbow cake by turning it into a vodka jelly rainbow cake. Oh my gosh. Cindy Grace Tom sent me this divorce cake. It's a rainbow cake, so it's like new beginnings. Hashtag a little awkward, but I'm glad you're happy. Matthew Sade sent me this picture, barbecue chicken boy. Look at this guy, he's so excited and he's wearing a bib. You know you're a man when you're not wearing a napkin or sometimes not at all, you have to have a bib. I wanna to go to a place, I know they exist, a place where you eat and you have to wear a bib. That's the kind of place we wanna eat at, yeah. Last up is this picture from Joe Sherwood that made me laugh. It's Ben and Jerry's Lieutenant Dan ice cream because of all the Forrest Gump references James and I do quite a bit and even my Forrest Gump style too short haircut right now. I just felt like getting my haircut got too short. I'm sorry about that. But anyhow, that is it. A little preview of the next episode. I've got Chloe making some apricot biscuits and this is a little funny scene from it. Is that fun? Yes. Very serious, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, she is that serious. And even this morning at the breakfast table, she's like, me cook with daddy today? She absolutely loved it. So with the school holidays coming up, she will be in it and Phoebe much, much more. Also coming up, I've got some Japanese Kit Kat testing and of course this basil spaghetti bacon recipe. So get involved, hashtag it up, send me your pictures. And remember, you can win a cookbook and if you want to order it online. Anyway, please do on Amazon or check out my website for full details and I'll sign it for you. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below all your thoughts on the discussed topics and I'll see you next time.